Hello and welcome to the sixth tutorial for Edware. In this video, we are going to go over the read blocks that you can see on the side here. Now, when you first start Edware, these blocks are grayed out. To activate these things, as we did in the last tutorial, you need to open up your variable editor and add a new variable. So there are two types of variable, the 0 to 255 type and the plus or minus 32,000 type. Uh, you need both of these to activate all of these uh, blocks because some of them take the larger type and some of them take the smaller type. So we're going to quickly talk about what these are and how these work and how Edison reacts to its sensors in a program. So as Edison is moving along and doing things, the sensors are constantly picking things up, especially after you've actually turned them on. So with the line tracker and the obstacle detection, you need to turn those on in a program before Edison starts looking at them or paying any attention to them and you turn those on with the red blocks. Now, once these things are on, Edison is constantly checking these things in the background while your programs are running. And when one of these things happens, Edison stores a little flag in memory and kind of starts waving that flag in memory, essentially. And then when you use a read block, such as this one or this one, Edison looks at those flags rather than looking directly at the sensors, which means that when you use a read block, this read happens from any time previous to that current point in the program. It doesn't mean exactly when you say the read block. Uh, so that can be a little bit confusing, but the interesting thing is these guys then do also clear that flag after they've had a look at it, so that these can be quite useful for clearing out an event that you don't want to see and then waiting for a new event that you do want to see. Now Edison does this uh, flag system with line tracking, with clapping, with keypads, with obstacles and also with remote controls. The others that we have here, the sense light and the read timer and receive data don't happen on flags, they happen in real time. So sense light reads in a value of the actual light at that point in time sitting at one of Edison's light sensors. And Edison has three light sensors as seen down the bottom here. We have the left light level, the line tracking light level, which is the middle option, and then the right light level. So this actually takes a very quick reading of that actual sensor at real in real time and tells you what that is. And then the read timer takes a read of a background timer, which we will talk about in a future video. So there you go, these are the read blocks. They simply read in either the value stored in a flag, and all of these have a little help text box that show you what value uh, will occur when you read those in. And all of the flag ones read into the 0 to 255 type, the sense light and the timer read into the plus or minus 32,000 type. You can then, of course, use these values further down in your program, set interesting and wonderful things, or do maths on them with the data block as shown in tutorial 5. I hope you have enjoyed that one, and we will see you in the next video.